when we're addressing a, a healthy uh, relationship, it needs to have boundaries. Mm. When I tell you that I don't like this, please don't go ahead and do this because he's saying I love you. So for me, remember it happened to me. Mazeni mm invest -hmm. time your day. Almost two years. What? For okay. the wrong reasons. Uh -huh. eh? What? So, uh, tell, us one, tell us one wrong reason. Is one it... wrong reason. <laughs> Is it... If you want submission, you have to make your woman to be the only mission. Mm. You get it. Hey. Yeah. You get it. Hey. Hello everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're keeping well and of course doing relationships right. Here on Tuesdays every 9.45 p.m. we discuss relationships and we decode the process towards the right relationships. Thank you for joining us. My name is Martha and I'm joined by very amazing guests. I mean, mm. Winiki Wangalia, I just feel they can't take it out. I don't even need to be here. They are full yeah. of stuff and content and very handsome and beautiful. Manze kuna mingina mekujana bibilia. Young yeah. people, simko serious. I mean, Quilly. this is nice. <laughs> this is nice. I love yeah. this. Anyway, you can introduce yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. My name is Daniel Keegan. I'm a student, and today I brought my all star team here. They're really great, handsome, and beautiful here. Mm -hmm. uh, today, we'll just uh, talk about um, the agenda of today's talk I'm about relationship and what uh, the young people think about it is. So, yeah, uh, I hope you, you enjoy the show. And yeah, just cheers, guys. Thank you, thank you, Kigan. Hi guys, my name is Faith uh, Mutave. I'm really happy to be here. I'm a student, and uh, um, me and say too much to grow up, uh, get on top of things, and uh, learn from each and every thing that is valuable. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you. Sinigo <laughs> Tuangu. My name is Baraka. Baraka Najoli. I'm the Bible guy. Mm. And uh, it's such a pleasure to be here. I'm a businessman. I, I actually have my own bakery. But wow. in ministry, I'm a worship leader. And it's such a pleasure to be here with you, Martha. Wow. And I can't wait to share what we shared. We mm. also can't wait. Manze, even we love you. We love you. We love you. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us today. And yeah. of course, as we've said, we are discussing relationship. Yes. And uh, this is one matter that we very important to young yeah. people. Yeah. Yes, and um, we, we want to really hear out what do young people think about relationships? Mm -hmm. You know, what when you hear relationships, what comes to your mind? Maybe there are others who probably are kisikia stories that could date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you eh, you're in stress. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. There's somebody else who sees relationships as a plus in their lives. You know? Mm -hmm. There's somebody else who sees relationships as a scam. You know? Mm -hmm. So we want to really know what comes to the minds of us young people, starting with, of course, this when you to Kohapa, and generally our circles, we've had their, their, their givings, we've had what they, they really subscribe to. We know, we know mm -hmm. these things. Yeah. So, of course, we have one lady in the room. Because you know. So, yeah, you can start. And of course, take it over from there. Okay, first things first, um, what comes to mind uh, when we're talking about relationship, mm -hmm. we have to first define what is a relationship. Mm -hmm. And a relationship to me personally is, it's a group, it's, it's a way uh, people relate mm -hmm. and uh, they connect. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I think of relationships, I think of uh, personally and honestly, mm -hmm. I think of healthy relationships. Wow. Because ukunje unaskia kuna toxic relationships, mm -hmm. kuna healthy relationships, kuna unhealthy relationships, that is the same as toxic. Mm -hmm. But we need to um, understand, first of all, who we are, mm -hmm. um, what we were born to do, the purpose, mm -hmm. and how we can relate with other people, mm -hmm. because other people also have what they can bring to the table. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. you are the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can say, oh, I think I love, what you're mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love what you're saying because you're really bringing in the aspect of the mm -hmm. introspect to the outrospect. Because mm -hmm. people think about relationships only because mm -hmm. um, it's about me and another lady or another, yeah. another guy, especially the opposite sex. 
and they forget their other relationships. It starts from within, mm -hmm. which will also determine how you relate with other people. Yeah. yeah. Right? True. Yeah. yeah. So I love that. You could, like, una, una sema story, uh, a relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. You being single first. Mm -hmm. um, can you live with yourself before you yeah. have to date someone else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, you know? because kama wewe mwenye umeboeka na yana natabambika na exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you are not used to yourself yeah, yeah. if you and can't live with yourself mm -hmm. you can't live with your like, mm -hmm. the worldly um, aspect of it if you mm -hmm. can't deal with your demons you can't deal with someone else's demons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah sure sure okay. wow so hey. I love that, Keegan. And I was content, Tafa Bwana. And I was content. It's too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another level. Um, relationships, wow. Um, I think everything sig significant starts with the relationship. Mm. Be it in family, leadership, your faith, your work, um, all boils down uh, to who or, or how you, um, you relate with one another. Mm. Yes. And our lives by the revolves around uh, for, for, for love with, uh, with others. Mm -hmm. So, like, tunapata, like, currently, tunataka to belong, to belong to a certain relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's what drives us to that relationship. Mm -hmm. We want to have that, um, what is it called? That intimacy touch with, with a, oh, with a, partner. yeah, with a yeah. partner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we want to be vulnerable to one another. Mm -hmm. So I think the whole concept of, of, of state um, of matter belonging and contributing mm -hmm. to a person really matters in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So we we all long for this. In yeah. Short. yeah. It's not something yeah. we really are forced into. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, no man is an island. Yeah, yeah no man is an island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah. truth of the matter is, as we go on, young guys are really not getting comfortable with relationships. Uh -huh. Yeah. However, they still want to be in them, you know. But the balance will come in with, like we were saying, the mindset mm -hmm. and how you view it, and that is what we really want to discuss. So, uh -huh. bless them. Very true. Yeah. My all star team has said it right. <laughs> <laughs> just to back up what they are saying with the word and the mind. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me just dive into Ecclesiastes <laughs> uh, chapter four, verse nine, mm -hmm. which says, "Two are better than one." Because they have a good reward for their toil. Mm -hmm. For if they fall, one will live to the failing. But woe to him who is alone and falls and has no other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a very strong scripture that mm -hmm. backs up what my brother and sister have said here. Mm -hmm. And for me, I would like to say that relationships really start from a younger age. Mm -hmm. Once we were born, how our caregivers related with us. Yeah. How they provided for us warmth, shelter, mm -hmm. food. These basic necessities mm -hmm. are what bring about what we need mm -hmm. from our fellow mate, mm -hmm. even in future. Because mm -hmm. if you are not raised well, or the people who are around you never related with you well when you are still young, mm -hmm. then it might affect you and hence fall into unhealthy relationships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you cannot know what you really want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's what a relationship is. For me to, to define it, I have to go to the genesis of the relationship, mm -hmm. where it started. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And again, for me, the verse, I always feel it has two sides of it. Two mm -hmm. good people. Let me underline two good people are better than one. Also, two, mm -hmm. two bad people good. are worse. <laughs> <laughs> you, a, a two, one mm -hmm. bad person comes and another bad person comes. Definitely, what do you expect? Disaster. Because mm -hmm. you can only be good if you are actually um, working towards becoming better people. Yeah, so it can't yeah, just true. be as general as as long as I hook up with anyone, mm -hmm. then I'm yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I like it. And uh, mm -hmm. it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to ask one specific question, which is, of course, relatable. Do you guys, or rather, do people in this generation kind of think that relationships work? In your own perspective, mm -hmm. do, do you think relationships, you know, very simply, very uh -huh. simply, do you think, um, I'm out to squeeze on a feel. I man this story a relationship to see. Every man is a dog. <laughs> Every lady uh, you know, all those things, you know, because yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it's becoming so bad. It's becoming so yeah, relationships have been tarnished. They've been tarnished. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? Because generally, now as we've talked about the, the basic foundations, we want to see about um 
what is the the, the, the real mindset? of people as they envision relationships for Kendela. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, I think relationship, uh, it's a two-way thing. It's a two-way thing. So you guys have to work with, with another, with the opposite partner, mm -hmm. like to achieve one goal. See, at the meaning, like, like you, you can't, um, what was it? Uh, you can't, you can't die to some place that you've never, wait, no? You can't um you can't die mm -hmm. to some place that you've never experienced it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like I feel uh relationship by the like it's a two way thing mm -hmm. to work, like to to have a, yeah. an accomplished goal. Mm -hmm. it's so like synergy. Yeah, it's yeah. synergy. So yeah. basically mm -hmm. they work as long as the two people take it to yeah. their hands. To their to hands work. to work, yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh right. So I like that. I really mm -hmm. like that. That's a very good statement because he's able to see that. Um, yes, relationships actually do not work and relationships actually do, do work, work. Yeah. Depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then to me, it's from experience. Yes, For me, I feel a uh, like to many who misplace your priorities when you get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. What do you want from a relationship? Mm -hmm. What do you need? What, 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 as we were saying, what are your boundaries? Mm -hmm. So, babu, most of the times, maze, unanza to kude to me say, sabu to make a mahalu kaske, and yet not a come to come. We are just lonely, mm -hmm. but you're really not fit enough mm -hmm. to accommodate yeah. somebody in your life. Mm -hmm. So, for me, I remember it happened to me. Maze, mm -hmm. in invest time, your day, mm -hmm. I mean, almost two years. What? For but the yeah. wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. eh? What? So, uh, tell, us one, tell us one wrong reason. One wrong reason. Is it? Like I wasn't heading to the right direction, but I was constantly invalidated. I was constantly invalidated. So it became a drug to me. So I was like, I'm saying, I really need her next to me. Mm -hmm. But when time went, and now I was relationship, I was like, it had the wrong priorities. Mazini is getting wasted. This here, Mazini put his attire. Mm -hmm. Akizo, like his old dates, not to Menda. So, in short, the breakup for you was not like a loss. It was actually, um, yeah, mm -hmm. let me say, you didn't like really go through the aftermath of breakup. Mm -hmm. it, it hurt. It was a loss. Uh -huh. But Kituna mm -hmm. Sema, like for me to enter into the next relationship, okay. like Sasa so, in our generation, do you? Maze unakuwa scared na bitu hazikuwa zinafaa kuskar. So when you yeah. enter to the next relationship mm -hmm. unapata tu unaogopa. Mm -hmm. Like ah, ni invest time kum say then uh, mm -hmm. ilishe kama yeah. ilishe. Yeah. Uh -huh. But tunasahau like priorities zetu zilikuwa wrong at first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, just, priorities okay, and reasons, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or just to add on on what my brother blessing has said. Mm -hmm. I could not cliche any goes around that I'm still working on myself. Mm. That's a cliche, but but actually, but it's true. It's it's factual. Like like you have to work in yourself first. Like invest in yourself. Yes. Like know the Bible vizuri. Mm. Like ujijwe tu manze vizuri ndosasa. When you meet another person, actually, be there. Um, there was a thing that uh, that just came. Um, God never. Uh, like they like God never uh, sends us perfect people. Mm -hmm. Sends us willing people, yes. willing people. So it's up to us to work in ourselves to jijue vizuri, and you to kinge in that relationship to ensure mm -hmm. this is what this is what I'm doing in this relationship. Like this kind of amesema, set your priorities right. Dosa ujue by the this is where we are heading. This is where we we want to be in the next five five years, mm -hmm. ten years to come. Mm, yeah, so wow. my brother has has old some some point there. Yeah, so for that point, I'm very <laughs> single and working on myself. <laughs> 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 my brother, <laughs> no, I love that. I personally advocate <laughs> so much on people being single for some time. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And you know, it's because people don't understand the, the, the responsibility of relationships. Relationship is not a reward. Yeah. It's, a it's a responsibility. People think I'm getting someone, you know, mm -hmm. I'm getting love, I'm mm -hmm. getting... But relationships call you to give. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have anything, what are you giving? Mm 
-hmm. If you haven't worked on your emotions, how will you True. share out what you have? Or mm -hmm. will you only be sharing anger because you've not learned how to control it? Mm -hmm. When it comes to relationships. Mm -hmm. So yeah, singlehood, but, but they take all your time. Yeah. Take all your time. No, no one... But not so much time. <laughs> <laughs> take all the enough time you yeah. need, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hey, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh -huh. To... Um, add on to, to the question you asked, mm -hmm. do relationships really work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think relationships do work and relationships don't work. Mm -hmm. They do work when um, you are at the right place, mm -hmm. the right mindset, the right priorities. Um, they don't work also because um, you're, you're maybe even young mm -hmm. to experience a relationship. They don't work because uh, when you got into a into that relationship, you had different goals in mind. And you didn't um, you didn't uh, work together mm. for you to build that relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's uh, very important. I can say personally, it's very important for you to first uh, set your goals right because as young people, we're growing up. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that we can see and say, "A key relationship, I work because." Um, Unona divorce, because we have peers. Mm -hmm. kia, my mom and dad um, mm -hmm. You know, and from that, in a mm -hmm. you know, it's you good. are afraid to get into a relationship because mm -hmm. you think uh, what I saw, maybe it can affect me to move on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very important um, as you, b before you even get into a relationship, mm -hmm. take time, you know. Mm. To heal that, heal yes. that child that was hurt, mm. that was invalidated, mm -hmm. that was uh, made to feel, um, that was belittled. Mm. Yeah. So, so that when you get in, uh, when you get to meet someone else, mm. you're you're healthy, you're healthy as a person. You know, sometimes you feel when you're healthy, and you 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 also feel when you're not healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's important to play um, and understand both roles. Yes, and of course not being selfish because mm -hmm. people think about uh, relationships from the selfish point. Mm. When you really look at even generations that will come from you, you will stop being selfish. Mm -hmm. You will heal. Because honestly, I would not want my children to go through things one day, one time because I didn't heal. I hooked up with the wrong person. I mm -hmm. got married to them and eventually then again, we are having a lot of emotional nonsense in that house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll begin to get serious mm -hmm. when you realize that there is a future that will hurt you more if you make the wrong decision right now. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we think about relationships from a very myopic view. Mm -hmm. And then we you ah, you know, it's just the fun of it. Good you know, like, yeah, like blessings. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. most of the time, the mm -hmm. reasons come in looking so good. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody, uh, there's a friend of mine who usually tells me, you know, when God is about to give you a million, the devil can give you 200,000. Uh, to deter yeah. you mm -hmm. from something good God is about to uh -huh. give you. You know, 200,000 is still something, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, there's something bigger awaiting. Mm -hmm. Because we settle for things uh, for the comfort of it. The devil doesn't give wrong things. He gives, a, you know, a, a vicious, you know, a, yeah, something big or something mm -hmm. that is very close to it to prevent mm -hmm. you from your, the real yes. blessing. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. is enough. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to get the real blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, so. I I remember um like I'm a fan of Abel Mutua's show and usually and usually says um plans are shetani by the name Maridadi 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 sana <laughs> like in that sense that um God wants to give you a million shillings mm -hmm. but here goes certain man say na hiyo ni yake just mm -hmm. his his own um plans copy diabolical copy plans copy yeah na copy paste mm -hmm. so ana come na idea but yeah let me give you 200000 mm -hmm. uta kauta Mm -hmm. That's the plan yeah, ya shetani kwa maridad but plans ya Mungu ni perfect mm -hmm. like he wants you to, yeah. to get 1 million so he has to take you through the process mm -hmm. yeah. patience yeah wow. yay yeah. hey. 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 okay kwani hey. help my god okay okay yeah Mungu kiomba Mungu give me the right person. Mm -hmm. Shetani anasema sorry kigeni. Mm -hmm. Shetani anasema simtampea tu mtu ameja looks mingi ameiva. Atasahau <laughs> atasahau atasahau content. Yeah. Yeah. So shetani anakutumia hiyo package. Na wewe mm -hmm. since like 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 
haujui like ndio unatafuta kitu machetani ya kosmati na kujua kikonyesha kitu cha kupeleza macho hiyo maridadi maridadi tu but you settle for somebody who's toxic for you yes but since shetani ame convince na hiyo 200k una settle una settle una settle Niko tu sawa na hii. Yeah, which is very dangerous mm-hmm. because what the devil is trying. You know, we are caught up in wars our two are really devil and god. Mm-hmm. Most of the time at a sisi your target. So that god does not end up using you for his purpose. Mm-hmm. He keeps on deterring you from that. Mm-hmm. And of course, what he knows is if you get the best potential of who you are, definitely you fight him more. Yeah. So he's preventing you from getting there so that he can keep winning his battles. Mm-hmm. and which is of course still very detrimental to anyone because well daka hapo every day you are stressed you know that i've seen memes saying mm-hmm. i am single it's just the man mimi but they say mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know neshanga the way actually mm-hmm. it talks of now without <laughs> single people cry more actually those in relationships cry Yeah. more than, than those who are single somehow mm-hmm. it looks like that so wow i really love what you're bringing on board and of course guys i hope you're getting so much more mm-hmm. um and learning these are young people like you definitely i'm sure you're going through the same things mm-hmm. i mean you're just settling for less settling for any good thing settling for you know just you know doing relationships for the wrong reasons yeah. mm-hmm. and you end up in the wrong place which is yeah. very devastating yeah. relationships yeah. can devastate you devastate, anyway yeah. thank you for being with us this far we are going on for a very short break be right back with us thank you <laughs> John Freeze waweru jitago Tony Cruz na tunyitaneire na Johari Properties tukureheire nyumba shi ruiru matagi junction shi a three bedroom ile shi the master and suit nyumba ici shi aketo na mwakire wa kiriu no gigira thini rumu nene nene nyumba ici shi rauma o nyumba shiringi milioni 1.2 kuma theka super highway gukinya ginya haha ni dagika ithano Kudogoko kwena mai vitima mashukuru madhivitari na security ni guaranteed Ugeda ogoshera guko uwionere uko hurira namba 0717733984 Kana uhurire kuhitukira 0723450755 Welcome back. We are glad to have you for this other part of the show. And of course, we are continuing with relationships and with my amazing guests. Si wamekuwa tu poa, I mean, they have been amazing and uh, I'm glad to still have them on this other segment. Um we are going to be talking about healthy and unhealthy relationships. Of course, um as we've said, relationships either work or do not work. Mm. So basically there is either the healthy relationships which work and there's the unhealthy ones which do not work. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk about the aspects of let's start with the healthy ones. Let's encourage people first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you can tell them some of the other things that because mm-hmm. kwanza <laughs> lesson na tuambie unhealthy you are ni mastermind. Uko nazo muda. Tuko hapa kukupea. Wewe kwanza umebeba encouragement yote kwa mkono eh? Yes, so take it off. Yeah. Wow. Eh, tunataka kumaanisha tutupotee hapo. So healthy, healthy, healthy. When I think about healthy, I think of honesty. Um so I know that for sure is real is rare. Yeah. Real is rare. Kupata mse honest say currently that's what is happening right now. It's a petu facts and it's really rare. And for a man, um if you want submission, you have to make your woman to be the only mission. Mm. You get. Oh, you get. Hey. Hey. You get it. You get it. You get it. <laughs> for number it. You get it. <laughs> yeah. So I think for a for a dude and a, and a chick to to be to, to be in that line ya kukua honest with each other, they have to be real with each other. Like mm. maybe this is what I'm facing and this is what I don't want. 
some of the failing uh, relationships uh unazapata the guy or or the chick like Ali swindle away with with whatever he or she had yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> The new vocabulary in time. The new vocabulary. So I feel like in relationships to, to work because it's work, it's mm, work, it's yeah. work. We can see by there um in the Bible um like like God had a evolving relationships with, with us. Mm. Evolving in, in the sense that um we see like God uh in the book of Genesis he told us like let there be let there be sun. Let there be moon. So we can see by the like in that line, God mm. is introduces her, God is introducing us into his creative side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we see like he narrows down to to um to to being like a to be like a human. Yes. Like it comes down to us to to earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to level yet. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, to level yet. Yes. Level yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, so he, he comes down to to us and be be our savior. Yeah. So like I'm trying to, to derive this point here yeah, kuku honest. Mm -hmm. Um so honest is skin relationships. Wow. So wherever you are like it doesn't amount to boy girl relationship. Yeah. Even your mothers and your dads at home. Yeah. You need, need to be honest, honest with them. Yeah. Right. with friendship relationship, you have to be honest. Because kuna si kuna ile instance ya bishi yako by the anafika like apa by the umenifika. But siezi kusho. Siezi kusho. Siezi kusho. Mini wanaume like, ah, like I can't show that side of me. Iyo ni meyona. So, umeyona? Guy. Okay, I digress, I digress. I digress. I digress. Yeah. So, I feel like, um, kama, kama, kama your mom told you something bad, mshow to, just, just be honest with her. You know what? Uli ni kwasea, ama, mzae, that he kitu efe kufanyo hivi. Mm. Ama si with a friend, kama bleso, bleso manze uli ni uthi, yo siku. Mm. Like I have to be truthfully, truth, truthfully, uh, brutally, uh, brutally, brutally honest. Wow. Yeah, brutally, yeah, brutally honest. honest. Yeah, brutally yeah. honest with you. Yeah. Because at times by the way, we, we see that, that, tuna, tu, like, like we, tuna ficha hizo, like tuna ficha hizo, yeah, 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 tuna ficha hizo, so honesty is key guys, honesty is key. Actually people don't know how, like he's saying honesty is key, there's so much it opens up to someone, when when Adam and Eve was created, what does the Bible say, they were naked and unashamed. Unashamed, yeah. It's just like, let me say an idiom representing, they were very naked with each other in terms of truth, in terms of who I am. You know, that is what God expects in any relationship that any, from friendships to, you know, love relationships to even other, you know, deeper relationships. The more open you are, the more intimate you become. Because I'm really, you know, sharing you with me. So I really love, honesty is important. And of course, it shows me the real you. I know what to expect. I know who I'm dealing with. I know everything, you know. It builds on trust. Wow, thank you. Okay, I, when I think up? about um, a healthy relationship, uh, I think about boundaries. Mm. You know, boundaries is something that we don't actually often practice. Mm. This is something that uh, we hear from different talks. boundaries, you know. And boundaries, kuna different types of boundaries. Kuna physical boundaries, kuna emotional. Yeah kuna sexual, mm -hmm. kuna intelligence, mm -hmm. pia kuna time, and uh, you can get in But Yes. Mm -hmm. But we need to to consider that kila mtu ako, ako individual, ako kivi yake. Na mm -hmm. kuna boundaries zenye uneza vuka, zifike mtu wapa. Zenye mm -hmm. unesema zime kufika. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's very important that... Mm -hmm. uh, when 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 we're addressing a, a healthy uh, relationship, it needs to have boundaries. Mm. When I tell you that I don't like this, please don't go ahead and do this because you're saying I love you, I love colors, all things. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know, <laughs> me, 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 and also when you when you when you talk about uh, emotional boundaries, in that um say 
ana shinda amekwambia hurtful words mm. indirectly like passive aggressive behavior yeah. ana ku address uh, in a negative manner and indirectly even, mm-hmm. even yeah. ana act yes. you know mm-hmm. ana act after that ana, ana jifanya, like i may didn't do that and anza kupuga slight which is very wrong yeah. you know mm-hmm. so like when when you when you are you're a healthy person you cannot do that to yeah. someone mm. yeah. all right I, i really like it it all boils down to respect Yeah. Mm-hmm. because boundaries are only there to quite measure the level of respect somebody has for you. Mm. So if you don't respect my boundaries, I definitely see how val- invaluable or, or rather yeah. valueless mm-hmm. I am to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I really like it. Because unasikia kama unasema umenifika hapa, that means kuna mahali ufanye tu. Kuna kuna pale mwanzo ufaifika. Hapo kuna mahali kuna mahali una kanya gaga na shida nimekuwa lao but I don't like it. Na mimi na sisemi actually we should na tunafaa tuseme kama umekosewa unasema. I think I think to me raise your up in a society sometimes hatusemangi ni ile unapatia mse a benefit of the doubt mm. which is not supposed to be the case mm-hmm. you're supposed to say your feelings mm. sema ni nini una feel mm-hmm. don't be ashamed are you ashamed hey you mean you are not here karibu i be like that sometimes hey please how are you So blessed mm-hmm. do you have yeah. something to add on I want you to open up on unhealthy relationships unhealthy unhealthy, mm-hmm. unhealthy. if you have something to add on on healthy you can mm-hmm. and then also start on un- un- unhealthy wewe tunajua ndio mtu mind wa hiyo mazee hapo hivyo ushajua kujua okay boundaries boundaries <laughs> but it has happened that you are yeah. ready to date women yeah. order anything from yeah. the menu and from your plate so you better be ready, <laughs> hey. better be ready. Better excuse be ready. us yeah, yeah. Yeah basically uh-huh. there's yeah. just some sweetness we are two in one tunajua ngat lazima nionje yako bana eh sometimes actually the the the, the, the nini what do we call it the strategy is make sure you order different food mm-hmm. so that i can test you mm. <laughs> you are trapped so uh, okay. the counter strategy mm. is yeah. i order the same you you order the same yeah. food. <laughs> It's difficult but you'll find her just trying to poke her fingers anyway by mm. that. Mm. You digress. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, can for, for unhealthy relationships mm-hmm. for me I feel holding grudges or compressing your feelings mm. can really can really set you back. Yeah. Sababu as we've said uh, you, you do something to me then I'm like ah labda kutaka labda kujua mm. so i hold it back yeah. next time she does something i enjoy it and like graduate to bigger yes. bigger bigger mm. issues yeah. Yeah. but because i've never stood for myself and said by the way eh, this is what you did mm-hmm. and i forgive you mm-hmm. and, but, and, right. and let's just put this mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Asia, oh yeah. but forgiving is hard sometimes no? forgiving is hard yeah, but it's mm-hmm. a necessity to a healthy relationship yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so okay. if you don't forgive kuna watu wanasema ni sawa lakini deep down wanaumia lakini ipo siku ipo siku ipo siku yeah ipo siku that people do that and i've seen it hata kwa my relationship ah okay unafanyia mtu kitu leo kesho anakupea kijana anapitia situation anakugeuzia but you find sasa inakuwa back and forth hamna time ya kujengana hamna time ya ku because you you you're moving through your purpose and this somebody is supposed to be your helper anafaa kusaidia through i'm talking about romantic relationship anafaa kusaidia through your purpose which God has given you yeah. but if they don't do that mm-hmm. mazee nimeshikilia tu mchungu zangu mm-hmm. i'll be destroying it yes. i won't help you mm-hmm. progress in your purpose mm-hmm. mm-hmm. non forgiveness is like mm-hmm. creating offense mm-hmm. unakosa offense inakuja unaweka hapo offense Una... yes. offense offense hey. offense you get it you get it <laughs> offense is you know keeping offense is creating offense mm-hmm. you know yeah. like you're off the fence yes I mean, you when they left from there. Ah. You know, when you count the number of offenses you can put in your heart. Uh-huh. Uh, in good time, uh-huh. your heart will be crowded with so much yeah. nothing else can come. Uh-huh. True, because you have just stocked it yeah, up and stocked, stocked it, it up. up so uh-huh. you become a very big Una bottle all, all yes. those emotions then it's more that it italipuka eventually. Yes. Mm, yeah. okay. So in uh-huh. mind to an unhealthy relationship, uh-huh. uh insecurity. Uh-huh. 
uh, and, uh, and and insecurity and controlling behavior mm-hmm. unapata you're in a relationship with someone i wouldn't like say ni supposed to be like romantic peke mm-hmm. yake also you mm-hmm. can have this uh, uh thing with friends mm-hmm. as well or at home it just narrows down to all types of relationship yeah. mm-hmm. now when you talk about insecurity insecurity is uh, a feeling that um I, i think i'm not the only one here Mm-hmm. I think I'm not the only one. Kuna watu wengi. Kuna venye kuna venye mm-hmm. umse mm-hmm. kuna venye umse sin trust. Mm-hmm. Insecurity leads no to no trust yes. actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you are insecure atataka ku control. Mm-hmm. Hello, uko wapi? Or nowadays they are tracking us my friend. Imagine, imagine literally <laughs> don't you have a life as in don't you have a life is, is that your life to track me? Mm-hmm. As in send to track my name. Guys. You know. Guys. <laughs> I mean you should be working in a huh? helping us track no vehicle. We are tracking human being. Eh mtawe. Kwa sababu God did not create us to control each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, God mm-hmm. ata alisema actually in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Uh human being was given the authority to control the animals mm-hmm. of the land, yeah. fish in the sea mm-hmm. and the vegetation that is to dominate mm-hmm. the world, not to yes. dominate people. Mm-hmm. That is not your work. Yes. You know including in a relationship mm-hmm. you're not going to dominate me because you and I mm-hmm. are equal before mm-hmm. the eyes of the Lord. Mm-hmm. He created us as male and female yes. not as male above female below. Yeah. <laughs> you know True, people don't actually know. Yeah, because actually the, the Bible before it talks about submission of a woman do you know the first mm-hmm. verse that comes submit to one another. Submit to one yes. another. Yes. Yeah. Only that we can't numbers. have two heads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's a point where now the woman has to submit mm-hmm. of course mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you have to work together. Mm-hmm. And then mahali penye inakuwa gumu hapo ndio unasema kama mwanamke nao submit to the man. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah so, so is a relationship in a chapter relationship in a tracking company. Tracking company. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> nowadays, <laughs> I just need the serial mm-hmm. number of your phone. Nikipeana mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I can tell everything that is going on on mm-hmm. your phone. Mm-hmm. Every single thing. Every single I can only thing. not maybe get to hear your calls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I I can get, I can see the call logs. I can see uh-huh. every detail of your message. Mm-hmm. Everything. Literally your phone is on my phone. Mm-hmm. So it happens which is a very toxic behavior. If you see mm-hmm. something like that basically we just have to call up that relationship. There's nothing yeah. to discuss because they'll That's apologize it. for the wrong behavior but there's something uh-huh. more it's speaking about this person. This yes. person They're yeah. not ready yet mm-hmm. yeah. to really trust you and release you to be who you're supposed Or yeah. maybe they have a condition uh-huh. they're not um addressing putting out. Uh-huh. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, so because of time I really would love us to really go deeper deeper deeper. We would guys. Yeah. Well, but um I really love the points you brought out. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we think they are unnecessary. We have had them over and over, mm-hmm. but they are the basic things that make things work. Mm-hmm. Okay. They are. So basically for now, um in a few seconds each just give out something to to the public that you feel is in your heart that you domain. wanted and maybe we have not yet um been able mm-hmm. to address it in a few minutes in less than 30 seconds. 30 seconds. About. Just tell them something. Okay. Mm. I think I'll go first guys. Yes, yes. Uh, um, let me start with Bleso. Oh, Bleso. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have been talking with Bleso much. Shockingly. <laughs> Shockingly. <laughs> <laughs> so with guys. Hey, we can be for longer now and stay now. Hello. Hello. So for me as a close I just want to say like relationships are meant by God to help us, mm-hmm. not to destroy us. Mm-hmm. So we need to take time, we need to seek him in prayer. Mm-hmm. We need to to, to check don't. out for this red flags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's do due diligence. Mm-hmm. It's not a race. Atu kimbizani ati wa kwanza kufika ni mapata hivi. This is about your life, about yeah. your purpose mm-hmm. and you want to make it work. Mm-hmm. So take your time and in the right time you'll get your person mm-hmm. or, or or the people who you need along your side. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, for me, I would say um mm-hmm. in all areas of your life um you need to work on them. Mm. and uh, you need to uh create a relationship with God mm. first before all the others because mm. he's the first one to be in your life mm. so you need to be very very um mind open to that mm-hmm. open minded mm-hmm. to that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so balance in short yeah, balance. you need to balance you're mm-hmm. not really work so much on your financial area mm-hmm. and you haven't yeah. really thought of the emotional area yeah. mm-hmm. and basically that is who I'm going to be living with yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mine guys uh is just to add what blessing had said I think I had the same thought but just to 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 add a point or to input my own uh 
opinion. Mm. I remember Pastor Dan in, uh, in our church in GCI he taught us that there's this notion, yeah, uh, like people say, like fine people say uh, in occasion that uh, she's my better half mm. or is my better half. Mm. Uh, he, he categorically rebutted the fallacy saying, um, I am complete. Yes. I am complete. So mm. when you come, you, you compliment. Yes. You compliment me. Yes. So this ideology, by the way, I think we should do away. To, we should do away with. Yes. And just what my fellow All Star team here said, <laughs> uh, we should we should put God first in our relationship. Mm. Let uh, let God be the firm foundation in our relationship. Be it yeah. at homes, be it like in a boy girl relationship. Let mm. it be a firm that God is is the first to to just take forward the relationship and all shall be well. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Wow. Yeah. They have just said it and you have it all. I mean, so much wisdom from these young souls. Yeah. So much, so much. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah. I'm so blessed and pleased to have done this with you. And of course, for my viewers, thank you for being part of this. We do not have anything to do if you're not there. So thank you for always watching. All we are insisting is know the purpose of relationships. If you know, of course, as Miles Mundro keeps on saying, that if you do not know the purpose of something, abuse is inevitable. Yeah. You know, if you really know, get to know the will of God for relationships and align yourself to it, definitely you will always get it right when it comes to relationships because God has good intentions and he wants you to feel loved to love mm -hmm. otherwise have a blessed evening and have a good time finding out whether you're in a healthy relationship or not may god help us all ciao